Well, that, that brings us to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And let, we'll start off with the odds, of course, brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Link in the description. Go sign up. Promo code NCAAF2021. Six and a half is their win total. Juice the same, over and under, minus 115. Division, odds, plus 650 to win the division. That is that is number three. They are plus 5,000 to win the AFC. To make the playoffs, plus 300. To not make the playoffs, is minus 400. They are projected favorites in two games. They have the fourth the easiest schedule per projected win totals. So that kind of makes it a little bit interesting. They have three straight under win totals and nine unders in the last 10 years. Now, you you remember they had that one magical season, you know, yep. almost made it to the Super Bowl, all that kind of stuff, right? Blake Bortles. The last seven college to NFL head coaches improved a team's win total by an average of four wins. Uh, three of them actually made the playoffs. An average of four wins. I mean, that's that's fairly substantial, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that most of them went to really bad teams who ended up with much easier schedules. Like I said, Jags have the fourth easiest schedule per projected win totals. They finished 1-6 in six in one-score games last year. They uh, they finished dead last in penalty yards the last three seasons, so I guess you bring in a disciplinarian like Urban Meyer to fix that, I, I guess. Trevor Lawrence could be Andrew Luck 2.0, we think. He does not have quite the team around him that Andrew Luck did. Urban Meyer could turn a lot of guys off with his college rah-rah, you know, BS. That's I think that could be an issue. The secondary was a big issue last year. They did draft Tyson Campbell out of Georgia. They signed Shaq Griffin. Both of those appear to be working out okay. Uh, all of the positive regression is kind of already built into a six and a half win total. I I still like the under here. I, Trevor Lawrence, I think, is going to be really good. Yep. And and they do have some weapons at wide receiver. They've got some players on this team. But I don't think that they're a very good team, and I think there's going to be a lot of learning about each other on the fly with Urban and these NFL players. Uh, Urban Urban Meyer has never coached professional football players, and I, there's no amount of training camp or anything else that can gear you up for a season, and we're already hearing rumblings about this. There's a lot of people that are already turned off about the way that he does things down there. I, I think that's going to boil over at some point. And, I mean, unless he changes, and, you know, he's 57 years old. He's been a coach for a long time. I don't know that he's going to be the one to change. Yeah. It, it, how, how long do we really give Urban Meyer? I, my, my best guess here is that they win five games. But I, you know, I, Trevor Lawrence could be otherworldly. His wide receivers could be amazing. You know, all, all the rest of this may not matter. But I think at some point it does and I'm going to go with five wins. I'm going to go under the six and a half. Man, we see this a lot. Like I've got, I've got this team five and twelve, and it, I, I could see them getting to six and eleven. You could talk me into that. That's yeah. fine. I, I can't see seven wins yet. I don't think that Trevor Lawrence is magic. I think he could be really, really good. I think this wide receiver course pretty good. Yeah, Travis Etienne is already hurt. He's going to miss the season. Congratulations! And I don't, I don't know what you do. You know, at some point in time, you got to play defense. At some point in time, you got to stop somebody. You got to block somebody. And and this is the NFL. It's really tough. And and you get a couple of divisional wins, but outside of the division, I think wins are going to come come scarce. Yes, they went one and fifteen overall last season. So even if Urban Meyer does get them to that four win yeah. improvement. I was just that's, about to say, he could, he, could, he, yeah, he could increase their wins by four, and they still have five wins. Their, their schedule, that now they get Houston to start off with, that's, that's right. cool. You got Denver, Arizona, Cincinnati, Tennessee. Like that, you, you could maybe find a way to get on a run here, maybe. You could win some of those games. You're not winning all those games. No. You're, just, you're just not. But this team is not going to say, I'm better than Denver. I'm better than, than, than Cincinnati. Like, you could be in all those games. You just to go ahead and chalk up all those as wins ain't happening. No, no, definitely not happening. I've seen, I've watched that, this league far too many times. I mean, you, you've got long. a you got a stretch here of Miami, Seattle, Buffalo, Indy, San Francisco, Atlanta, the Rams, Tennessee, right. and then you finally get to Houston Urban, and the Jets. Urban like, has never had a gauntlet like that of games where he has to out coach that many people. Yes. Okay. To where his team is less talented than the team that they're playing. 
And the coach that he's coaching against is probably better than him also. That's the issue. That that when he was at Utah, he still played a schedule of people that were far more talented than him, but he was far superior coach than those other teams. Yeah. Okay. This ain't that case. All right. Where the talent differential is, is also these other guys you're going against are the best coaches in the world. All right. That there are no bad coaches in this league that you're going to run up against outside of the, the few teams that you're already going to be better than. Yeah. Marvin Jones, DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault, Colin Johnson, Philip Dorsett, like they got dudes. They, they got Laquan Treadwell there, although he hadn't been the same, you know, since his injury. But, yeah. uh, but they, I mean, they got guys that, that they can throw the ball to. They got James Robinson, Carlos Hyde as, excuse me, running backs. Yeah. I'm, I, I just, I, I just don't see it. Like I'm looking at the defense. You know they got they got some guys on defense too. Miles Jack, uh, Clavon uh, Chasen. You know, Shaq but defense Griffin, like, is one of those things you can't have two or three studs. Listen, the, you, you need a the, you need a the Browns stout. had a monster yeah. at defense and their defense was still garbage. Yes. Okay, All right. Like they had, they had, in my opinion, the best defensive player in the world, and they they still had a terrible defense because one guy is pretty easy to scheme around. Two or three guys are pretty easy to scream around in the defense. Offensive lines the same way. Okay, this offensive line's not good. All right, and even if you got one good offensive line, it doesn't matter. Go look at the Houston Texans. They got Laramie Tunsil. They got my, maybe the best offensive lineman in the game right now. It's not named uh, uh, Quentin Nelson. Okay, yeah, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're still terrible. They're still a sieve. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong about that. All right, so we're both going under on the Jags, correct? I think giving them five wins a hell. Of, I think increasing your win total by four is a hell of a year. Yes, I think so as well. I think so as well. You think any chance that they end up trading uh, Gardner Minshew to try and try and shore up any of these other positions? No. I I would I would trade him if I was them, just because having a viable backup doesn't matter to you. Like if Trevor goes down, the best thing that you could do is keep losing. Yeah. Right. Yes. yes. Like. Like the only reason you would want a strong backup is if you're a team like the Chiefs or something like that. Like you're a team that needs to know that you're not one player away from winning or losing the Super Bowl. You need to know that if your starter goes down, you can continue to compete because you're trying to win right now. Yes. Okay? It, the, the Jags aren't that. So having a second string quarterback doesn't bring you any value at all. Yeah, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. So, yes, I would guess I would trade him if I was them. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.